All right, what we got here is the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo 15 OLED screens. This is a 15.6 inch 4K UHD touch display, and actually both of these screens are touch displays, which makes it awesome. You can touch either one of them to go ahead and hit on something. There's gonna be an Intel Core i7-10870H, or I'm sorry, 10870H, <laughs> with 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte solid state drive, you got your GeForce 3070 in here. Now this is what Asus is calling the Screen Pad Plus because it's kind of a touchpad, but it's also a screen, a fully, like when you look in Windows and the display properties, it's a whole other screen. And I'm gonna talk about the architecture here for a second of how this is laid out. The keyboard feels perfectly wonderful. It's a full-size keyboard. It doesn't feel like you're typing on a mini micro keyboard. The trackpad's over here. If you're a left-hander, that might count you out, but as a right-hander myself, I think this is great and it works perfectly fine. And now let's talk about the screens a little bit. There's a couple of buttons over here I wanna point out because one of them actually turns off this bottom screen. If you're using it like a regular laptop and you wanna save some battery, you can hit that button. This other one is great because when I use this, in the coffee shop. I'm usually doing work up here on the big screen and I put my reference material down here on the bottom screen, maybe a Excel spreadsheet or something like that. And there's sometimes where you wanna see a little more down here and instead of flicking it around or scrolling, which is perfectly fine, you can do that with the mouse or do it however, uh, maybe I just wanna see a larger version of this real quick. Well, if I hit this, it's going to move this window up here and it's gonna move this window down here. It's gonna flip them, check it out. So now I have this up here and maybe I, I look at my reference, I see the big stuff and I get my info and I hit it and it moves back. And now I just go back to work up there and it's fine. And that's not all. Asus decided, well, how can we really help people out and make these two screens work together real slick? So if I start moving a window around, you'll see we got monitor one and monitor two. And down here, there's a little icon for monitor one and monitor two. And so if I go ahead and drop this on the one, it makes it full screen up there. And vice versa, if I'm dragging a window around up here and I drop it on the number two, it makes it full screen down there. And you might think that's pretty cool, but they took it one step further as well. Now, if I go right under the two, there's a little extra panel and I could want this on the right two thirds or the right half of monitor number two. And so if I drop it on that little tile right there. Now I got it on the right two thirds. And so if I take another window here and drop it on the left third, it pops down there. And so you can be flicking your windows up and down and restructuring them however you want. And this is kind of separate from the way that Windows does it because you can throw it to a totally different screen to an area uh, from right where you're at. And I just found that to be super excellent and saves you a lot of time. And if you're looking for a powerhouse to bring around with you and have two monitors right off the gate, no setup, you just open up your laptop and there you go, you got two monitors. I think this is definitely worth the gamble. I've, I've been using this quite a while and I've been super happy with it.